All right, nieces and nephews, welcome back to the congregation. Uh, it's been a month. Tomorrow will be a month since I last put any tools on the banana hammock. And we've got a couple of little things we got to do. There's still some work we're going to do in the uh, uh, oil pump and oil line department, and I got some parts for that. I probably bought more things than I really need. Uh, I did get a, a new cam bearing. I got a cam bearing puller and installer. I got some new gaskets. And uh, maybe most importantly, I got some new uh, 3 8 transmission oil cooler line. Apparently that's what we're using to uh, run the lines with. What I'm gonna do first is we're going to modernize the old banana hammer. We're gonna put some, uh, an LED brake light and all in one with turn signals. I don't wanna put bullet style turn signals on this guy or I wanna keep them as low profile as possible. Uh, Eagle Lights was kind enough to send me this brake light that's all in one. Hopefully everything goes as planned, but if you know your old uncle, they usually don't. Before we get into the maintenance video, I did launch a new shirt. It's the congregation shirt. I know you guys hear me say welcome back to the congregation a lot. I will explain this a couple of times for those of you who don't know or not in Discord. About a year and a half ago, I learned that a group of alligators is called a congregation. And ever since then, my mind kind of went wild on, on little ideas. So I'm going to roll this little minute and 15 second ad here, and then uh, we'll get right back to it. For years, the children of the swamp prayed, crying out to be released from the clutches of the guardians of light who demanded undying fealty for fear of death. One by one they came, beasts as old as time, untethered by the throes of man. Their thick green armor able to withstand all attacks, their teeth sharp as knives, gnashing and gnawing at the light-bound overlords, until they fell. The Swamp King arose from his slumber and called forth to his people, and there before the beasts swore his allegiance to become a part of the congregation. All right, so um, what I want to show you first is this. Somebody did put an LED on here. Uh, this could be very similar to what Eagle Light sent me. I don't know the brand, but what happens is when you turn the turn signal on, maybe the LED cycles will make this look like it's flashing, but it's not, it's solid. So what that indicates is that it needs, um, it needs a load equalizer on there. Now I've done load equalizers in the past on things, but they were a very manual process, you know, building diodes and whatever. So this guy, we're gonna hope. All right, so somebody had the bright idea to put uh, Allen screws on here. I mean, I guess it's better safe than sorry, right? But man, that's a little bitty guy, huh? All right, it's not metric. I was wrong. I've been wrong before. All right, so this, uh, this lens here is held on by a backing plate with a couple little uh, 7 16 nuts. Now I did pull out the new light and uh, I may have to may have to solder some wires pulling this guy out now. Well, I don't want to mess up this. There's some kind of socket in here. Well, I don't like this at all. You know what we're going to do, fam? I might regret this. You know what? I can't fucking see. So I don't really care. All right. Now what's going on in here? All right, so we're gonna have to solder all of those wires. See, here's a new one. The new one from uh, Eagle Lights comes with a socket. So on this one, I have a, let's see, red, black, white. Yep, that goes into there, blue and yellow. All right, so this is gonna follow the same color structure that Eagle Lights already has on there. And um, I think we're actually gonna be paused here for a little bit. I don't wanna try to solder inside of this little bitty thing. Gosh, that bugs me, man. Basically, I'm gonna have to cut this off. There's no socket here. 
we're gonna cut this socket off. All right, so then what I will do when I get the right soldering pieces to see how much room I'm gonna have once I get it in there, we're gonna get this done. The thing about working on old bikes, and I'm, I'm saying old, there's somebody out there that commented like, you call them that old or whatever they said. Yeah, dude, yeah, I'm calling it old. So honestly, I think I'm gonna put this whole, yeah, we're gonna put this whole assembly and I'll try to, I'll jerry rig something to hold this up while I solder those wires together. Actually, let's see something here. We can actually solder that while it's on. What do you think? All right, see, look, now I've got this coming out of the fender over here and I've got this coming out from the light. So we're gonna, I'm actually gonna solder these over here on the side so I can go ahead and mount this thing back on. Less dangly parts, the better, in my opinion. You know what I mean? I think you would agree with that. All right, fam, we're actually on uh, on the second day here of working on this. this. My soldering irons, I have a couple, are both kind of uh, a little shoddy. So I did go to Harbor Freight yesterday evening and um, got a new soldering iron and some 5 16 heat shrink. So what I did was I, I pre-positioned a little piece of this on here and a larger piece here so we can kind of close those up when I'm done. I was gonna put the 5 16 all the way through, but I can feel the splices here from where they changed the wiring. And that's gonna be important in a little bit. I'm gonna show you on the um, uh, pin connector where the wires are a different color. So uh, we're gonna have to figure that out. Now, I'm not gonna record putting all these wires together. What do I have, five? Uh, we'll do one on camera and I'll, I'll chat with you guys a little bit. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it right after I rolled that footage of, uh, or that little promo video of the t-shirt. Look, I know that's not for everybody. Matter of fact, as soon as I uploaded that, yeah, I lost a few subscribers and I actually lost a patron right after that. And uh, it got me thinking. Like, I don't know if, I don't know if guys, if you guys think I'm like a, um, Christian guy or you know, ultra conservative or whatever, but I'm not. And, um, you know, I kind of talked about this in my discord a little bit. And uh, one of my friends, oh shit, said, well, you do kind of have a wholesome vibe going on. And I get that. I, you know, I am a family man. I, I put family above all else. And, um, so I can get where, you know, maybe some people might think that I have more of a, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm trying to say here, except, um, you shouldn't be surprised, really. That that might be the only like super, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't want to say evil, you know, thing that I have. That might be the only one that I do like that extreme. I can't get a good mesh on these. Not a good mesh. I'm having to rely a lot more on my glasses. You guys are gonna get a conversation here today. I got glasses when I turned 40, like, I'm, I don't know, not even a month after I turned 40, uh, which was an eye opener because I was, I always had really excellent vision. And my current glasses, like the ones I'm wearing today, I got in 2017. Uh, from 2016, 17, and 18, my, my prescription didn't change much, but I have progressive lenses, which, you know, if you wear glasses, they're like bifocals. And uh, so technically when I got glasses, I, I didn't really need them for everything, just kind of when I'm reading or... Lately, gosh, I've been... Um, I've been having to rely on them a heck of a lot more than normal. When you solder, you're not supposed to touch the soldering iron onto the solder. You're supposed to let it heat through. I'm bad, I guess. That one's nice and soldered. Probably why I go through uh, soldering tips so frequently. We're gonna let that cool down just a second and slide that little guy. That's a nice clean solder. I'm hoping that the all five of these go that way. I have a heat gun, but I'm afraid to use it because I have these other big pieces. I don't want those to start shrinking prematurely because then I got to cut everything again. Uh, I got myself in a little pickle. Let me go get a lighter and we'll, we'll do it that way. Now, ideally I would, I would stagger these so that way it's not a big bulky wad of solders and wires here, but I'm not going to. It could be laziness. I just, I don't know how much room I need to stagger, but I don't have a whole lot here to work with. So if I can keep them all, nice and thin like this, I think we'll be in good shape. One thing I don't like is that there is two different gauges of wire. Anyway, I'm going to uh, finish soldering these five wires together. I'll see you when I, when I button it all up. 
All right, fam, we got our first hiccup. So I got um, I got four of these together and I said, you know what, let me just make sure that the things that are connected work. And um, you know, you think black on black, yellow on yellow, red on red, whatever. Um, yellow and blue are the two directionals and uh, they're backwards. So I've got yellow to yellow and when I hit the um, right turn signal, the left one comes on. So I've got to, um, got to figure out how to get this off of here. I don't want to cut it anymore. I'm gonna cut my damn fingers. What I'm gonna do? Oh, good. All right. Well, good. I didn't. I didn't heat that one up very much. Thank goodness. All right. Let's start with uh, yellow to blue here. Yellow to blue. I'm sure a lot of you guys have soldered before. Like I said, I'm. I'm pretty good with electrical. It just. I don't, I don't always make the prettiest solders, but uh, what I'm doing here, if you're not familiar with soldering, is I'm taking these individual little wires inside of a little bundle here and I'm fraying them and I kind of want I don't want to I want to make sure they're nice and fanned out so I can kind of put them together like this no, I missed it this is why I was talking about my glasses earlier by the way and then I can you know kind of wrap all the little strands around each other I don't want any strays because what will happen is when I try to put that uh, heat shrink on, it won't go. Yeah, I think I need new glasses, guys. You know, this soldering iron is six bucks. I think that's why I don't mind messing up the tips. Cause I'll get, I'll get several uses out of this thing before the tip starts melting. All right, let's see if I can fit that on there. Actually, let's see if it freaking works even. All right, let's change angles. Now I just, I don't know what to expect yellow on blue as long as whatever direction goes on okay all right well at least the right direction comes on so we know we're uh, we got the right idea now all right back to the story all right we got it all fixed i've already verified that the left and the right work uh i may not actually need that load stabilizer i don't know all right so we've got all these little guys going the only bad thing about having to start over with the yellow and the blue is that now all my wires aren't the same size, whereas they were before. So it's gonna create like a little, I don't know, it's offset. The reason why I'm doubling up on this uh, heat shrink here is because I want more of it on the uh, side that the light is on um, because it's kind of feeding into the assembly. And this black wire is not gonna cooperate with me here. Let's back that off just a hair. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna do this side with my uh, Walmart Wagner heat gun. Now the other side is uh, curling up a little bit. Don't want that. Okay, let that cool down just for a second. Let me make sure everything works still. I'm always hesitant that things are not gonna work out. There's break, there's right, there's left. Hell yeah. Like how many times have you guys been in a uh, <laughs> situation where you're working on something? You get everything fixed, you know, exactly how you want it button everything up and you go to uh, fire it up and something's wrong, you gotta tear it all apart again. So I try to do these little checks throughout the day. All right, now your old uncle's gonna look ridiculous. Well, okay, let me clarify that. A little more ridiculous than normal. Got this uh, lift as a means to get off the ground and here we are on the ground. Now I almost bought quarter inch heat tubing or heat shrink instead of uh, 5 sixteenths. But what I was worried about was not being able to get it around this this little guy here. Uh, but on this side, it's just bare wires. So it would have actually done better for me to get quarter on that side. So I should have bought, I mean, it's $2 for each roll. All right, I've got a lot of excess wire here. Not the biggest fan of that. But what we'll do is we'll make a curly Q and stick both sides of the curly Q inside of that tab. There we go. Now it's out of the way. Out of the way, my friends. Um, so let's check this out. Let's check out the uh, the magic of the Eagle Lights. I don't know if I mentioned it yesterday, but I know a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I'm not prioritizing like the mechanical things. I don't know. I, I guess I just wanted to feel a win, I guess. Here's your running light, a little smaller than I thought it would be. Brake light, I like that it has a flash. I love that, actually. Um, I don't know how well the camera's gonna pick that up but it is flashing correctly, like a little directional. Love that. I don't know, it's hard for me to tell if that's a hyper flash. 
I don't think it is. I don't think I need that load resistor. All right, now what I do believe is that once I get around to uh, putting on the little bullet turn signals in the front, I'm gonna show you guys those, and that will be on a separate video. They did send me both of these things, but I didn't wanna just do wiring, because uh, we're gonna hunt for these wires, and I don't really feel up to it right now, but uh, what I do believe is once I get all four on, that maybe the, the load equalizers are gonna come into play then, but for now, it looks like everything's just working right. But let me show you these little guys that they sent me. All right, so um, another reason why I haven't committed to putting these on in this video is because uh, I don't I don't know exactly where I'm gonna mount them. I've got some ideas, but... Um, so you've got these two little brackets here. Here, we'll just pull one out. You've got a big hole and a little hole. They're very simple, very simple little brackets. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these uh, pinch bolts out. I'm gonna mount that here. And then what that'll do, that'll give me room. Um, these little guys, look how little these are. And uh, when I first requested these, uh, my, my point of contact at Eagle Light said, I don't think most people realize how small these are. So what we did was uh, he sent me both these and a, a, a little bit bigger, more traditional. Not not huge like stock ones, but you know we sent he sent both. I sent the other ones back, and uh, once I got these and I mocked them up, I'm like, no no no, this is exactly what this motorcycle needs a little bitty bullet light. All right, fam, that's gonna wrap up this video. I have no idea how long it's gonna be. Of course, by the time I get to this point in the edit, I'll pretty much know, uh, and you'll know exactly how long this video is gonna be. But um, so that's it for the Eagle lights. That was a big deal uh, on the back. I wanted to get there and uh, we're gonna work on the front lights. Not next video. Uh, that's gonna be like a down the road. Next video is probably gonna be getting into this uh, oil situation. Got all the parts I think I need. I did not buy an oil pump yet. I have a feeling, I'm feeling that it's gonna be something those oil lines, but uh, yeah, don't forget to grab your pre-order shirts. I am doing a pre-order. I don't know if I explained it well enough or not, but uh, I just, I can't aff afford really to just pay for a bunch of sizes that I don't know what people are gonna get. I mean, I can kind of base it off of last year orders, but I'm gonna run this pre-order for a little bit, go get them printed, go pick them up, then start shipping them out. Um, it could be, you know, it could be a couple weeks, but anyway, yeah. Again, I appreciate you coming along for this video and all videos. And until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.